our last episode, we spoke with Andy Warman about all IP-based workflows. But today we're going to dig a little deeper and talk about a new standard that's currently in draft form with SMPTE, ST2110. Andy, what can you tell us about this new standard? Well, 2110, unlike the standard we talked about previously, which is 2022-6, it separates video, audio, and data to run over independent connections. The reason this is a good thing is because in environments, particularly production, news, studio type workflows, where there may be dozens if not hundreds of audio sources, varying numbers of camera sources, it is quite difficult to manage all of those in an environment where video, audio, and ancillary data are all embedded, which is the case of 2022-6. So 2110 allows you to separate those. They all can run independently over a network and therefore you get a lot more flexibility. And also it, it sounds like a lot of efficiency improvements for complex workflows. Well this is the thing is we're going to use less equipment. Uh, we don't have to de-embed and re-embed which is the case with SDI and 2022-6. We can simply allow those to move through the network independently and each device along the way will, will manage those for us. What we're finding is that um, taking this approach is going to reduce the amount of footprint of equipment you need. It increases the complexity somewhat in some areas, but the trade-off is that you're going to have more efficient workflows. And because it's all IP and network switching enables us to manage the way the data flows, it's going to create much more um, ability or flexibility to change over time. It's going to be easier to adapt over time as well as keeping the high level of flexibility we want from management of the inputs and outputs with separate audio, video, and data. So clearly there's a lot of benefits for customers. So what is Harmonic doing to implement 2110 in its products and solutions? As with 2022-6, which was the SDI over IP baseline, if you like, 2110, we are implementing in, again, some of our products. The key focus is really around the Spectrum video server on Spectrum X. That platform, because it's already SDI and IP hybrid, or SDI only and IP only, it's natural that because the video server is either receiving inputs from, say, production, or it could be a video server delivering content into a production environment where we need to separate video, audio, and data, that it be a sender and receiver for those. When do we expect to see 2110 widely available in the market? The good news is that Harmonic has done a lot of work already up front in order to prove that we're able to support 2110. That means that as we start to see products come to market, which we expect to see in the second half of 2017, really towards the end of 2017, we'll be right there. We'll have product that is 2110 compliant and will be part of those new workflows that are evolving with this new standard. To learn more about ST2110 and Harmonic's all IP-based workflows, visit the Harmonic website at www.harmonicinc.com. Thanks for watching.